here it is, the definitive top 10 list of wild swimming spots in the Peak District. Over the past few months, I've been doing a series of vlogs on my favorite wild swimming spots in the Peak District. And today I'm gonna run through that top 10 list. If you want more information on each of those spots, then you can head over to my channel and watch the individual vlogs on each spot. First on the list, we have Agden Reservoir. Now, Agden Reservoir is probably the best spot on the list if you want to do some paddle boarding and is also brilliant if you want to do a proper long distance swim. It's also amazing because it's so accessible. There are great transport links out there and it's also incredibly close to Sheffield. Over the past few years, it has become an incredibly popular spot. So it can be busy on the weekends and in the summer months. Next on the list, we have Slippery Stones, possibly one of the most iconic wild swimming spots in the Peak District. Situated up the Derwent Valley, there is a road to the spot. However, this road is closed on weekends, so it can be a bit of a trek to get to. But if you did choose to cycle up there, it is an absolutely stunning ride, with a bridleway going up the side of Lady Bower, Derwent and Howden Reservoir. Slippery Stones is a bit of a plunge pool, so you can jump in there. The water is crystal clear, and there is amazing spots further upstream and downstream that you can explore. There's a great little grassy verge on the side, so you can take a picnic and spend a full day there. But it does take longer to get to than you think, so make sure you leave yourself enough time. Next up, we have Three Shires Head, possibly the most picturesque spot on the list. With its many waterfalls and bridges, it seems like it's come straight out of Middle Earth. This is another one that has become incredibly popular over the years. So if you want to avoid the crowds, you need to go for an early morning swim like I did. But the views are definitely worth it. Next up, we have our most sophisticated spot on the list, Chatsworth House. Now the Chatsworth grounds are absolutely incredible and the River Derwent snakes its way through the grounds. Surprisingly, you can swim pretty much anywhere. My favourite spot is down at the bottom near the Carlton Lees car park where there's a weir. There's also a great jumping in spot. It's perfect if you want to do a long distance swim and there's also some amazing rock pools that kids can explore. It's grassy verges as well, make it perfect if you want to take a picnic and have a day out with the family. Next, we have Yule Grieve. The Yule Grieve is on a natural river that has been slightly dammed to create the most amazing crystal clear pool. Because it's only four foot deep, that makes it perfect for kids. And because the water is so crystal clear, it's a great spot to explore both up and downstream. Again, there's another great grassy verge if you want to take a picnic and have a day out with the family. On your way back, it's vital that you stop off in Bakewell and get yourself a proper Bakewell tar. Next on the list is the best sunrise swim. This is another incredible spot because it is so accessible. There's great transport links out there and it's so close to Sheffield, situated right on the edge of the Peak District. Red Myers is actually a series of three reservoirs that face eastwards, which makes it the perfect place for a sunrise swim. Now, with the growing popularity of wild swimming, it is difficult to find spots that not many people know about. But next up is Fairbrook, a bit of a hidden gem. Just off the A57, you would expect it to be quite busy, but this is actually a really remote part of the Peak District. And Fairbrook is one of the many rivers that flow down from the Kinder Plateau, with loads of amazing little plunge pools to go in meaning that even on a really busy day, you can usually find a spot to yourself. Now, this is a list that is filled with some of the most beautiful spots in the Peak District. But I'm not gonna lie to you, next up, number eight, Froggart Bridge, is not one of the most beautiful spots. Don't get me wrong, it is lovely with Frogger Edge in the background, but it is near quite a busy road. So why is it on the list? It is good if you want to do a long swim, however, the main reason is for bridge jumping. Bridge jumping and cliff jumping are some of my 
favourite things to do. And there are quite limited spots in the Peak District where you can do this. So that's why Frogwick Bridge has wormed its way onto the list. Number nine, Barbrook. Now Barbrook is situated up on the moorland and it's another one that has been created by a dam. But again, there is crystal clear water and because it's up on the moorland, it stays cold pretty much year round, which I love. There's also some great tracks leading there. So it's the perfect spot if you want to mix a bit of wild swimming with some gravel biking. And finally, number 10, Mermaid's Pool. Now we had the perfect sunrise swimming spot and this is definitely the perfect sunset swimming spot. Situated partway up in Kinderstown, it offers some of the most incredible views in the Peak District. It is a bit of a trek to get to, but the walk is absolutely breathtaking and it is definitely worth going late on in the evening to get that sunset with your swim. I'm not gonna lie, the pool itself is not actually the nicest place to swim and it can be quite boggy, but it's definitely worth it for the views. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like the video, drop a comment below to let me know what your favorite wild swimming spot is and please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out massively. Thank you to everyone who has supported me through this series. It means so much to me. I've got some big plans both for the Greg Dunn Adventure Club and also outside of YouTube and I'm excited to share some of that journey with you as I go along. I've got loads more content around wild swimming coming up and I've even got a little challenge to do in October. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one.